Hello everyone, let, let us start a problem of Fourier transform. We have uh, x of omega as given. The value is 1. Okay, it is a triangle which is uh, having width of 200 and it is even. Now we are having y of omega as minus 50 to 50 and the amplitude is 3. Okay, so we have to uh, express yt in terms of x, xt. Okay, so this is uh, you can see that in the frequency domain there is there is what there is a time compressed uh, frequency compression initially the frequency the spectral width was 200 okay now the spectral width is uh, 100 okay so there is compression so this mean that there is a expansion in time domain so it is a time scaling property so I want to state the property first time scaling property time scaling property of Fourier transform this is equal to if uh, x of alpha t if time is scaled by alpha so in the frequency domain in the transform domain it is 1 upon mod alpha x of omega by alpha okay so uh, can you see how x of omega and y of omega are related we can say y of omega is written as y of omega is written as the amplitude is multiplied by 3 it is very clear okay and x of what see 100 minus 100 to 100 so it is 2 omega so this will be divided by 2 to get 50 this will be divided by 2 to get 50 so this is the expression in the term of uh, frequency domain but we need yt in term of xt so we have to do some more work in this problem so uh, let us try to express it in form of time scaling property this expression basically okay so it is uh, x of we have to express x of omega by alpha so what we can write omega upon 1 by 2 it is 1 and the same okay alpha okay so let us divide by alpha 1 by 2 Ma again multiply by alpha so it is equal now 3 was already there okay so this is what 1 by 2 see 1 by 2 into 3 into 1 upon 1 by 2 x of omega upon 1 by 2 this is our y of omega right so now in the transform domain if we take the inverse Fourier transform of this so we will get y, y omega inverse Fourier transform will be yt 3 uh, 3 by 2 is as it is okay 3 by 2 is as it is here it will become x alpha t alpha is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 into t okay see x alpha t x alpha t alpha was 1 by 2 so alpha is 1 by 2 here you can also write this 1 and the same t by 2 equal eh? okay so that's it for this problem